Spring means tick season, and a couple of weeks ago we talked about Lyme disease and ticks. Dr. Apple Bodemer with UW Health joins us now to continue our conversation. So, doctor, can you tell us how to protect ourselves from getting Lyme disease? Yeah, the easiest way is to not get bitten by a deer tick. Okay. If you are bitten, it's not the end of the world. It takes about 36 hours for transmission to occur, so mm -hmm. you have some time. You want to get that tick off right away. Okay, so the best way to protect ourselves from getting that tick on us. Mm -hmm. Let's run through that now. What are the best ways? So if you're going to be in wooded or grassy areas, you want to make sure you really limit the amount of exposed skin you've got. So mm -hmm. wearing closed-toed shoes, long pants tucked into socks, long sleeve shirt tucked into pants, um, and Picking a light color or a tighter weave sure. fabric will also make it easier for you to identify the ticks before they attach. Mm -hmm. You want to check your skin and your clothes frequently when you're outdoors and then again when you come inside. Trying to avoid contact with vegetation, staying on paths, mm -hmm. that can also help, and then tick repellent. Okay, so when it comes to the tick repellent, yeah. what, what are the choices there? What should we look for? So, Permethrin is really the only one that will actually kill the ticks, mm -hmm. um, and this should not be applied to the skin. You okay. can apply it to clothing and outerwear. Um, this is a spray-on product that you spray on, let it dry, and then it lasts for about two weeks. You can actually purchase clothing that has permethrin woven into it, um, and that lasts usually oh. about 70 washes. Um, the next is DEET. Mm -hmm. um, that is a really common one. It mm -hmm. comes in varying percentages. It can really irritate the skin, and it's not clear that the higher percentages are actually more effective, so you might mm -hmm. want to stick to something 30% or less. Um, oil of lemon and eucalyptus, 30 to 40 percent appears to be as effective as DEET. Mm. And, then, um, and then this is, this is the one, Picaridin. It mm -hmm. comes in 7 to 15 percent concentrations, and that one also works as well, lasts about three to four hours. Okay, so let's say we get a tick on us. You've, mm -hmm. You're going to show us some ways, the best ways to remove them, because yeah. my dad taught me to use a cigar, yeah. uh, a lit cigar, and that's not what that's you That's not what you want to do. I want to kind of dispel those myths, yes. because sometimes people will try to smother them with Vaseline, light mm -hmm. a match or a cigar and hold mm -hmm. it to them, use rubbing alcohol, nail okay. polish remover, all those things really do is irritate the tick, stress them out, and when that happens, they're more likely to transmit Lyme okay. disease. So we have about a minute, so mm -hmm. why don't you show us the devices that you're so, suggesting here? So really the best way is to use a fine-tipped tweezers. Mm -hmm. These tweezers with more of a flat end, you would use, it, it actually causes more potential to damage the tick, which again stresses the tick out and makes, makes transmission more likely. So you'll take these fine pointed tweezers, mm -hmm. grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible, and pull upward in a gentle smooth motion. Um, this is an example of a tick key. You'd put the tick, kind of place the tick in the device, oh. slide it into place, and then also lift upward in kind of a gentle, smooth motion like you would with the tweezers. And where do you get, like a drugstore or something? Um, or just... Yeah, this, this you can get them at pet stores, actually. Oh, okay, uh, sure. Drug stores, REI, Target, those kinds of places. Um, when the tick is re gets released, you'll want to make sure you wash that area, either with a disinfectant or even just plain soap and water if that's all you've got. Okay. Don't worry too much if you've got retained tick parts. They cannot transmit the disease as long okay. as the infected tick is gone, and they'll dry up and fall out within a matter of a couple of days, usually. Okay, in the last couple of seconds we have here, what if we're bitten and we get the, the rash? What yeah. should we do? Yeah, contact your primary care provider. Let them know what's happened. Um, you know, they might want to identify the tick, so if you do remove it, keep it with you so they can check it out and see if it's appropriate. They'll prescribe a course of antibiotics to treat Lyme disease. All right, Dr. Apple Bodum, or UW Health Dermatologist, this is really helpful information. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And we're going to toss it now over to AJ for a look at the weather, AJ.